Okay, last time we talked about conditions, guys, things to consider when you're on the water. We have some conditions that are going to affect the trout's feeding behavior, and you guys need to understand what those conditions are. The, the bad side of this is what I'm gonna tell you. If any one of these four conditions exists that I'm gonna tell you about, usually means that you're not gonna do well on the water. So I think the one that's probably the worst of all of the negatives that we face on a lake is when you have an incoming front the whole key to an incoming front is where your barometer is. If that barometer drops below 29.9, I've been tracking this now for close to 40 years. If it goes below 29.9, what the fish do, your trout, they're gonna go lay on the bottom and they're not gonna move. They aren't gonna eat, they aren't gonna do anything. So that's the one thing, if you find, uh, if you have a barometer and it goes below 29.9, you're probably better off to go home and paint your nails, wash your socks, do something different because you aren't gonna catch fish. But if the barometer is falling but is still high, you'll just see that the bite kind of tapers off as the day wears on. What the fish are doing, they're reacting to the low pressure and what they're doing, it tells them that there's an incoming storm coming in. Their form of adjustment is to go lay on the bottom. Another condition that I don't know why this is, but it is, when the wind blows, wind from the north, the bite will stop just like that, like you flip the light switch. I've been on lakes over the last 40 years where when that condition hits, those fish, I mean, they just stop hitting totally and you're not gonna do real well. Good thing about it, that wind will change directions and it might last 20 minutes, might last an hour. If it's a front coming in and it's out of the north, that's rare, but if it does occur, you're gonna find, uh, you're not gonna have a good fishing day. Another condition that we have to deal with and it's not, necessarily one of the good things is when lakes turn over. A lake in turnover means that the, the level of oxygen on the top and the temperature are going to be the same on top as they are on the bottom. That's not a good condition. So you'll see a lot of the water will be tannic looking, that sort of thing. So if you find a lake in turnover, go find another lake to fish because you're not going to do well. The fish, they'll avoid uh, all that toxicity and they just don't want to be in there. And another condition that we have, it's on occasion, it's not all the time, but if you get out there and you get into an algae situation, that algae gets real thick, that's a bad condition, and the fish usually, I talked about it before, but those fish are not gonna wanna feed because it takes the oxygen out of the water. So those, those four conditions, keep close eye on what's going on out there, and any one of that four means you're gonna be in trouble. So something to watch for.